Right then, day four it is, and we're back out on a course. We've got no rain, we've got no wind. We've got no rain for now, anyway. That uh, fog over the mountain isn't going anywhere, but uh, it looks spectacular. But a lot of moisture in the grass. Um, we need to stay out of that rough. It's very, very wet and very heavy. New swing from Lou yesterday. Right, concentration mode. Let's see if we can beat that plus three from day one. That's not a bad start in terms of, it's on the bunker I'm afraid. Sit down. Oh, do you know what? Probably the best drive of it in the third round now that we're playing off this tee. Much more solid strike. Hope you could see that better ball flight. Ended up in a bunker. Yeah, not the best start to the morning because uh, that was a decent drive to be fair, but there you go. Wrong line. Um, I'm not taking any chances here. I've got a 54 wedge and we're just going to try and get out and back in the middle of that fairway. Go. Just about made the fairway. Right, we've lost that shot. Let's see if we can get a good iron in. Well, someone's been mindful of already. What I've realized I've done is I'm dwelling on the tee shot being punished into that bunker. And uh, it's important, as we know, to wipe that from the mind. At 140 and nothing in the way. And it's a case of, uh, can we get something at that flag? Might be a bit heavy. Go ball, go ball, keep going. Ah, it's heavy. Yet yeah, heavy and short. Pressure is well and truly on here. Uh, quite a bit short still in three. I really do need to try and get up and down. And with seven iron again, getting wet across the grass for the first eight foot. Sit down a bit, sit down. Yeah, happy with that. You know what? That was one hard fought bogey. Not the start I wanted. That's solid. Solid. If the club's right, that's bang on. Sit. Oh, yes, what a club change that was. For a minute there, that was hanging in the air. I thought I'd change club and it had gone long. Good decision. Got a chance. Take your little pin because you don't want to go past the hole because about two foot after it, you're off the green. Maybe slightly mindful of that. And uh, happy with the three. Not happy with the three really, am I? Ah. Right, we all know this one by now on, uh, well, third round. It's a uh, great golf hole, great tee position. No wind today, so playing fairly neutral. Uh, again, if you want to go with driver, which I have, you've got to stay for me. Um, it's a tight landing area. Bunker three is the line with today's sort of shape that I'm missing. Oh, and that's a great drive. That's a solid drive. Just on that left-hand side. Why didn't that hit the fairway? Well, that's so much more solid than I've been hitting. It was a shame, really, if this had been 10 yards to the right, we'd have got a good bit more out of this. That pin is a really dangerous one. Um, realistically, you've got to be right, right of the flag, I think. It's got to be the target. Go. Kick off now. Yeah, once again, just leaning off it a little bit. It's come up short. Not getting through it. Go on, Em. Go on, Em. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. That's a miraculous fall. I can't miss that. Right, so still one over. Uh, good save. 
I said the wind was neutral, but it's definitely just a little bit behind. Drive's been good so far, but the best part of the game. And that again is a difference in connection and carry is massive. That's perfect. Definitely uh, having an impact on the driver, the lesson I'm referring to. I suppose just a bit of an update where I'm at now. So three holes in and the, the major thing I would say is uh, lack of confidence is a big thing. Um, the iron coming in, the last iron coming into the previous screen little bit weak, a little bit tentative, uh, more confidence with the driver and I think you can almost see that the way I'm getting through the ball so much better. Uh, but definitely a massive, massive help in terms of the lesson. Uh, but you can't just go from that, having a lesson, then confidence being sky high. And like I said, that's just got to build. But that's that's the current issue at the moment. I got 162 in, pin tucked, uh, just behind that bunker down the left. So again, centre of the green would be a good start line and not get too greedy. Oh, do you know, some, again, I keep saying the same word, solid. Sit down, ball. Just stayed out there again. It's a long way from the flag, but do you know, I'm so much more, I'm so much happier hitting that kind of strike. That's the important thing to me. Now, perhaps I should apologise for the kind of uh, almost self-indulgent series of videos because it's all been about my game, but I was, what I was trying to do was uh, maybe we've all had those same kind of experiences. So. Like I said previously, lacking in confidence, uh, game starts to go. Certainly, like I said, post lockdown, it's been a struggle and it falls apart quite quickly. So, uh, yeah, just trying to play the games of golf. It's much more serious. And like I said, I'm, uh, I'm by no means a uh, barrel of laughter at the best of times, but it's been something that uh, I'm trying to concentrate, but also talk to you through my feelings at the same time or experiences at the same time. So, uh, like I said, a little bit self-indulgent, but I suppose for me, Comments down below, um, how's your own game? What kind of things are some of the things that I'm going through at the moment in terms of that lacking confidence and then trying to put into play these kind of um, new processes that we did with Lewis yesterday. Is that the kind of thing you've also experienced? And uh, yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy, I'm getting out of breath. That's it. I'll have to try and make up and down again. to drive but we're uh, a lot safer than we were the other day right we've got 218 to a bunker that is sunken you can't see it but it's pretty much middle of the fairway and then the flag is over the brow so we're going to go three iron and uh at my best into this win like i said there's only a couple of hundred and see if we can leave it in the right spec that's heavy but it's chasing it's chasing, it's over the brow, got it a little bit heavy out of that. Not too bad of a drive. Um, we've just really got to get this down the middle. It's uh, it's that simple. I've gone with five wood, which is not normally in the bag. So let's see what we can do. Absolutely ripped it. Yeah, it's right down the middle. Okay, so walking up to the ball, we've got 80 to middle. That looks front 61. And we only just want to clear that bunker really and certainly don't want to go left. 
That's the swing. Oh, that could be good. Be right on the yardage. Be right on the yardage. Oh, that's probably the nicest shot I've played today. Bit of control and uh, that shouldn't be too far away. In terms of birdie, you can see there's just a bit of a down slope and I said it wasn't too far away. Well, that's where it pitched. Um, but yeah, down that slope, it's done about as best as I could have hoped in terms of stopping. But like I said, best chance in terms of birdie. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but this would bring it back to level. I always say it's a funny old game. Come on, got a chance, it's off the right hand side. So there's, uh, there's nothing easy about this one. Off the right, positive. Positive stroke. Miss Reed, it stayed there, that was bullet straight. Good stroke. But I miss Reed. I still can't get a smile on my face. A five. Okay, so this strange loop throws up another par five. I mentioned on day one, I've set this loop up so that I can uh, basically stay out of members way and uh, start and finish near the clubhouse. So it's a par of 38. Don't forget, we're still incredibly one over. Tight fairway, beautiful golf hole, but you've got to find that short stuff at the minute. It's a decent effort, but I'm on line for the bunker. Oh, come on, don't do this again. Sit down, sit down. Do you know what, that's come up short, that's perfect. I'm going to get some new mic packs because uh, these batteries are draining on these sort of nine old vlogs and uh, my power in the battery has gone again, so plenty of voiceover from uh, here to the finish unless I can get close to this microphone. Uh, but the wind is quiet uh, still this morning, so you might be able to hear me. The point of that was, Good drive, um, really solid. Big difference in today has been a quality of strike on the driver. I don't know whether you can actually hear that uh, from the microphone, but not only more solid in its sound, it's traveling further, less deviation in the sort of movement. So a real positive has been the driver. Just not quite got it with the irons as yet. So hopefully a few holes to go, still one over incredibly. Um, let's see if I can keep that going for what is, what, three holes left to go. Right, a little bit of course management. I'm gonna play 150-ish, I'm gonna play nine, nine, we're a little bit downwind. Try and land it parallel with that bunker that you can see left of picture. Um, and leave yourself what will be a sort of 90 yard wedge shot in, hopefully from the top of that brow. the clubbed a little bit it was a good strike but could have done with one uh, extra iron to get to where I wanted to be really but that's okay Do you know what, I enjoyed that putt because uh, I took a fair bit of time on squaring that one up, I knew it was straight, I uh, got the club head square and just kept that head down and it threw the ball, uh, so yeah, a little bit of a fist pump because uh, I made five again, golf is such a weird game like I keep saying, it's, uh, I don't know if I look, I'll probably watch back the round and think that well I probably played better than I'm actually feeling because you know, the one thing I've not done, I've got in massive trouble today, so again, the thing that we looked at yesterday with the uh, lesson with Lou is less deviation in the ball flight, and I suppose that's been the biggest thing, the biggest positive is that even when they've not been great, they've been straight, and that's mega important around here at the minute because you go in the rough and you're, you're losing a ball, and if you find it, you're certainly not making your way very far forward, so uh, yeah.
Again, just a bit of an overread. Uh, happy with the pace of put. Probably could have done with a little bit firmer, but then, uh, like I said, that break I left too much outside of the hole. So, yeah, good three though. Smile is returning. Well, I for one at least, anyway. Well, the reality of this is uh, all this for a birdie. Yeah, first one of the day. And I get back, that's bogey what I started the day with. And honestly, it's probably, um, I don't think I've ever shot level par around here. So I'm even taking the glove off. I say level par for nine. Ah, still smiling. Uh, I hit it straight and uh, it just feared slightly off to that right hand side. Um, but overall, summary, um, really happy, really happy with the, the last, uh, I don't know what it was, but four or five holes. Completely uh, started to feel a little bit more uh, rhythmical in trying to execute what I was doing. So, probably half of what Lewis was teaching me, it probably wasn't executed fully, but I was trying to sort of do that, but then blend it into more of a, a smoother swing to to play out here on the course, whereas early doors it seemed a bit robotic. Um, but I managed to stay and save those sort of uh, shots early on and got the game going around sort of, like I said, I don't know what it was, my fourth or fifth hole. And from then on in, uh, I really felt as though it uh, started to get gradually better and better. And playing um, the last three, the par five, the par three, and then the par five, it all, all came together quite nice, really. The, the confidence lifted quite quickly. Um, and we've got something to work with. It's about to start raining. Like I said, thanks for sticking through this uh, little series of videos. I don't know whether it's something you'll enjoy or not, because um, like I said, it's, it's been our graft. Um, but we're going to do it again. We're going to do day five. We're going to, uh, well, one more round to throw in, and uh, that's the final one. But I'll, I mean, who knows? Plus one. I didn't think I'd have shot that, not with the condition the way it's uh, the course is set up at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's taking some beating, but that'll be the challenge for tomorrow and the final nine.